welcome back to my channel. So today in this video, I'm doing a highly, highly requested video and I'm kind of talking all about my new hair. I'm showing you how I style my hair and I'm also talking about a few of my new favorite products. I've been trying these out ever since I cut my hair and I've been kind of trying to find stuff that works for, you know, my new hairstyle, just finding new things and, you know, seeing what works for me. And a ton of you guys have been asking on Instagram, on my videos, on Twitter, wanting to see how I style my hair, what I've been using on my hair, what I asked for when I got my hair done. So today we are doing that in this video to clear up one of the biggest questions I get and that is what I ask for when I get my hair done and I simply show pictures. I am the biggest advocate of pictures as someone who cuts hair and does hair, did hair, I don't really do hair anymore, but let me tell you, pictures are amazing and especially when you bring in a picture or go see your hairdresser, talk to them about what you want and you know what you see in that photo and what you like and also what you don't want. That is so important. Don't just show them a picture and be like, oh, I like this because our our eyes can see something totally different. So for example, when I go to my hairdresser, I always show a picture of Julianne Huff. I literally show them her Instagram and I'm like, I love her angular haircut. It's slightly A-line, so my hair is a little bit shorter in the back than it is in the front. I like it a little bit longer in the front because of the angle and these pieces can curl a little bit more and it kind of stops your hair from forming into like one big curl and I don't want my hair to look like a bell. You know what I mean? Where it's like, hey, so I don't want that. I also make sure to tell them that I want a cool blonde, which one of the products I'm talking about today helps with that. But when you get your hair done, make sure you know what you want. I ask for a cool blonde, meaning my hair is a little bit on, you know, the cooler side. So there's not yellow or orange in my hair. There might be little hints of warmth, but there's not like full one color yellow. You know what I mean? Okay, now I'm going to show you the products that have really, really helped my hair and that I just swear by for styling my hair. I will have links down below for the products that I talk about where you can get 50% off, so I'll have those linked down below. Let's get into the products, which I will be using a few of them when I actually show you how I do my hair, but I wanted to cover all of them beforehand so you know why I use them and how I use them. So starting off in the shower, I use my Tinted Love by Isalon. This video is partnered with Isalon, so all these products are from Isalon. I I really love them. They reached out to me and we have been working with a lot of their products and I have found stuff that I really, really love and swear by. So I'm excited to share all this stuff with you guys, but this is Tinted Love, a color enhancing treatment. I use the purple one because if you guys know anything about the color wheel, purple cancels out yellow. So any warmth in your hair, this purple is going to cancel out. You also can use this if you have darker hair. Say for example, you naturally have a little bit of warmth to your hair and you're a brunette. This will cancel out any of those tones and kind of add more of a coolerness to your hair. Um, I really love this stuff. It adds a lot of shine and it also helps treat your hair. So I notice when I use it, it not only, you know, adds the shine and cancels out the warmth of my hair, but it also leaves my hair also really nice and kind of helps the, with the blonding that I did. And with Tinted Love, there's over 20 different colors. So there's something for everyone and it's for all hair types. So no matter what hair color you have, there's something for you that'll refresh your hair color, which is super nice. The next product I love is the Get Lifted Root Spray. A ton of you guys have been asking how I get this volume and kind of textureness to my hair. So I love root sprays for exactly what they sound like, a root spray, but I also use it kind of throughout my whole head of hair. I like to kind of lift my hair, spray it, and then it just adds a nice texture to it. I love this stuff because it isn't crunchy, it isn't sticky, it leaves your hair nice volume, it's touchable, so when you touch your hair it doesn't feel crunchy or anything like that, which is very important to me. And the last must-have product is a good hairspray. This is the Keep In Touch hairspray. It's a nice, touchable, soft hairspray. I really like this stuff because I can spray it and then just comb my fingers through your hair, or you can brush your hair. I don't brush my, I don't have enough hair to brush, let's be real, that's like not a lot. So I really love this stuff. I can spray it throughout the day and kind of touch up my hair and like if I want a little more lift I can add a little bit more of the root spray. Sometimes if you have like a softer day look and then want to do a more dramatic night look. Some people like dramatic night looks with their makeup. I like it with my hair sometimes. I love this hairspray because it blocks against humidity and as we know I just moved to Seattle so there's lots of moisture everywhere let me tell you. So this is really saving my hair, but let's jump right into the tutorial so I can talk to you guys about how I actually curl my hair. So I love you guys so much. Enjoy the video. Again, I will have links down below to get 50% off the products I just mentioned. And yeah, let's jump into it. Okay, so jumping right into the hair curling because I feel like a frizzy little poodle. 
rat meow. I'm still getting used to this hair. I feel like when my hair is not done, I don't love it so much and I miss my extensions and I'm like, where is my weave? So let's get this hair done before I have an emotional breakdown. So how I do my hair, I have a very strong natural part and this is my part. This hair grows this way and it like have a very strong cowlick so that's what that little lift is and then it just kind of goes back and this hair straight grows back and like I was born for pageant hair so I start on this side of my head I don't know why I just do and I also take the top section and I just twist it over so I take that and I take this and moving on to the actual curling part I just take random sections and I will wrap them around the curling rod. This is just a normal curling rod. It's a smaller size one. I leave the ends out and then I just take it, squeeze it in my hand, and then most of the time I pull it just to loosen the curl. Um, I think that not having a method to curling your hair is the secret because the moment that you start perfecting your curls too much and pay too much attention to the formation of your curl is when they look too structured and put, too put together and then you just kind of look like Shirley Temple a little bit. Temple? Temple? Um, I also take random sections and I curl towards my face as well as away from my face. Uh, that way it just looks a little more beachy, a little more natural. Again, squeeze it, scrunch it, and then I just kind of pull it out. But moving on to the top layer, I just kind of do the same thing. I take random sections. I do take smaller pieces of hair. That way they don't, I don't know. But when you have shorter hair, you need to curl smaller pieces. So for this one, I'm gonna curl it away from my face, leave the end out. And then this is a little trick. I take it, I scrunch it, I pull it, but then I also throw it over the top of my head. That way it adds some body. And I'm also gonna do another little trick to add some body after I'm done with this top layer. So then I also take these front pieces and I don't, oh, hair, you better stay up there, girl. I don't wanna ground you. Um, I just take them, I pull them a little bit forward to a little over direction. Little beauty school trick for you. And then let it go. I don't apply too much heat. So again, I'm going to take one piece, curl it towards my hair, towards my face, and the reason I only do a few pieces towards my face is because I only do those pieces to kind of break up the curls. I don't want the curls going towards my face, I just don't want everything to form into one big curl, you know? So, do it again. Sometimes I pull them back. I do with this top layer where I had thrown it over, I kind of form everything in my finger. I grab my Get Lifted Root Lift Spray. This just helps with volume and a lot of people are scared of root lift spray, but let me tell you, this stuff is not crunchy. It does not leave your hair like, I don't know, it's a nice touchable hold. It's very nice. Okay, now I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. After I curl my hair, which I hope you guys enjoyed those little clips of me curling my hair. And for the front, essentially all I do for the front is just take bigger pieces. It's the same reason that I take the top layer and I throw it over so the root cools this way. So then when you throw your hair down with the root spray that I added, it adds more volume and more texture to your hair. And then what I do to finish my hair is I kind of take everything and I don't mess with it when I curl it besides just pulling it out a little bit. That way the curl isn't so tight. I want it more loose and a little more, you know, uh. What I do is I take the Keep In Touch hairspray. I love this stuff because it has a lot of wheat protein in it, which is really good for your hair. There's also keratin in it. It's a light hairspray, but it's buildable. So if you want a really nice, strong hold, you can do that. But it also is light enough where it's nice and touchable. It adds lots of shine to your hair. I really just love it. It smells really good too. So I lift up my hair and spray it, and then I kind of do that a little bit. I pull it in the back, pull up. You know, just adds a nice little fall to it. And then I kind of just play with it and pull everything out a little bit. Just, you know, let it let it figure its life out. Let your hair 
be its own person, figure out what it wants in life, who it wants to marry, where it wants to go to college. So that is my hair, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this quick little informative video. These products have totally, totally helped me figure out a routine for my new short hair. I know that getting a new haircut or having a new hairstyle can be really difficult. Make sure to check out a salon. I will have links down below for everything. Make sure to check them out and there are some awesome coupon codes down there for you guys and links and everything. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.